Good morning guys, big hello from me and Akira here this morning. We're going to be talking to you today about socialising your puppy and exposing them to things inside the house. So whilst you can't get them out and about as much as you possibly might like to with the current lockdown situation, um, we're going to talk you through ideas to integrate different textures, sounds, smells um, and other things inside your home to help them become as brave, confident and well adjusted as they can be. A really easy thing that you can do that we've been doing with Akira over the past couple of weeks is playing sounds perhaps on your phone or on your TV at a really really quiet level of things that they might not be hearing at the moment. So for example we've had some really great lockdown weather so you could maybe play rain sounds, thunderstorms or fireworks. Um, if there's maybe no men or children in the house then you could play their voices uh, again quietly in the background. I want your puppy to learn that these sounds are nothing to be worried about, but be careful not to overwhelm them. Make sure you start off playing these really, really quietly so your puppy doesn't even react. And over time, once they realise there's nothing to be concerned about, we can increase the volume. You can also get your puppy to sniff a variety of different things. So you don't necessarily have to let them get up close to um, different smells, but things like herbs and spices whilst you've still got the lids on, perfumes and deodorant. As you can see, Akira is currently um, getting a little bit mouthy, so I think she's starting to probably experience a little bit of soreness in her gums. So we're making sure we've got plenty of toys to hand to try and redirect her onto. We've been having a look around the house, all the paper and cardboard items that we've got and making great use of those too. So that can be anything from food packaging to post delivery packaging to really large boxes right down to toilet roll tubes and toothpaste tube boxes. So all of those you can scatter around on the floor and allow your puppy to explore using their feet, their mouth and, and through their sense of smell. No, you aren't seeing things. I really am wearing a wax jacket, a scarf, a hat, gloves and some waterproof trousers and Akira is having a, a good old investigate. And this is because without us being able to have visitors currently um, and without our puppies perhaps being able to get up close with people out on their walks, wearing lots of different clothes that you have around the house at home is going to be a really great way for your puppy to get used to people. Other things that you could perhaps use are perhaps dressing up outfits, wigs, um, other types of hats, caps, sunglasses, high-vis jackets if you've got them. We don't want to scare them or overwhelm them. This is just something we wouldn't make a big deal of, but we would just come down wearing different clothes um, just to help them get used to it. Another great tip is to make sure that you rotate the items in your house and garden regularly. So even if you're introducing novel items to your puppy, they'll hopefully soon realise there's nothing to worry about, but then they'll get used to them. Whereas in the re real world, things change all the time, such as people moving their bins, cars, and when your puppy goes into different environments. So again, without causing your puppy any concern, you can do what we're doing with Akira, where my living room is a mess, but a different kind of mess every day. So we move things around so she's used to the fact that things change and that she doesn't need to react to that. 